Good evening and welcome again to another episode of Talk Pixar. We begin our journey tonight to the autonomous region of Bougainville. Bougainville's referendum quest for autonomy has been put forward and is three years from now in 2019. It's an important date set for Bougainville to decide whether to become an independent nation or remain an autonomous region of the independent state of Papua New Guinea. But independence will not be given on a golden plate. It is to be decided by all parties who are signatories to the Bougainville Peace Agreement. The people of Bougainville, the national government, autonomous Bougainville government and the international community. This means that the referendum will be heavily scrutinized to ensure that it is deliberated in a proper manner to prevent future problems. All eyes are on Bougainville with this question posed. Is Bougainville ready for independence? Whether the autonomous region of Bougainville is ready for independence come 2019 is a critical question that needs careful consideration. And June 15, 2019 is the target date set for Papua New Guinea's autonomous region of Bougainville to decide what they had fought for and that is independence. However, this target date will be determined by the signatories to the Bougainville Peace Agreement under special guidelines to check if the pillars were achieved. June 15 this year marked the 11th anniversary of autonomy since the autonomous Bougainville government was recognized as the legitimate governing body of Papua New Guinea's autonomous region. Now you may continue to have faith in government. Continue to have faith in leadership of Bougainville, both political and administrative leadership. Now you may be going billion, you may must cut time, you look, 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 positive development come up. You may must cut belief, look, you may yet. You may even fight, look, look out, you may yet. You may even fight, look, come up, look, look, look out in people, look, 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 it's about time. You may, you may lose thinking, look, 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 negative something. Now you may focus, look, positive something, and now you may, you may try, look, look, look more, try and find more ways, look, how. Let me look, you can move in Bougainville forward. While the countdown begins, Bougainville's preparatory work towards achieving referendum is crucial. Since then, leaders have been working hard to deliver raising awareness on referendum, both in and outside of the autonomous region. <laughs> Bougainvillians residing in Brisbane, Australia were also educated on autonomy. In Papua New Guinea's capital, Port Mosby, it was the same message of hope. However, back home in the autonomous region of Bougainville, Vice President Patrick Nisira says Bougainville's future is everyone's business. One of the major achievements in the last 11 years was maintaining peace 
and goodwill. The autonomous Bougainville government runs and manages the affairs of a post-conflict era following the civil war on the island. And the challenges are real, like reviving the Bougainville economy, security and good governance. One of the real challenges me play got here is reviving the Bougainville economy. How can we Bougainville participate to revive the Bougainville economy? And one of the big plus something, how can we help the government of Bougainville to revive the Bougainville economy? How can we help the autonomous government and the Bougainville Police Service to improve law and order so that Bougainvilleans, wherever they live, wherever they are, can enjoy peace and harmony, can, can enjoy a good life, a life without fear? I'm challenged by me. Not by big plus challenge me play God here. It's weapons disposal dealing with the remaining weapons on Bougainville. So let's ask ourselves, how can we Bougainvilleans play a part in removing the weapons of war? Rouse him low Bougainville, so that time you may go to a referendum. The result of the referendum will be only considered free and fair if we deal with the remaining weapons of war that are, hands, are in the hands of our husbands in the community, that are in the hands of our brothers in the community that are in the hands of your son in the community. The Bowen Police Service, the CIS and Unarmed Force, they can do only little, but it is you that are in the community with the, with the weapons in the community. You must make him walk below you. Bougainville's dream must be achieved. However, life after the referendum must be taken into special consideration with the outcome to have credibility and be accepted by all parties to the Bougainville Peace Agreement. So what's the use of holding a successful referendum for independence or whatever the choice and then me play fight back again? Me play must prevent him this plan. We must work towards ensuring that time me play hold him successful referendum, Bougainville doesn't go through a period of turmoil again. Bougainville doesn't go through a period of violence. But Bougainville, after the referendum, me plan must maintain in peace, now continue. Sustain in peace, let this play time. Me no like looking Bougainville and we go back again to period of crisis. We cannot allow the generations of today to go through lo this last same period. No. It's a no. Now we must walk blow him all together. Bougainville, lo walk strong so that we Bougainvilleans don't put our children to go through the same experiences me play go through long The Bougainville Public Service Machinery has an important role to play in ensuring that services are rendered to the people of Bougainville. Acting Chief Secretary to the Autonomous Bougainville Government, Paul Kibori, says the Bougainville Peace Agreement sets the roadmap how the public service machinery can effectively deliver. You may got big plan work is up or some machinery long government long make sure that this service long government name go reach more people blow him place to make sure that there is a new culture inside the public service of accountability transparency now good plan effective performance and my staff is along with public servants, whether along headquarters, along districts, or along COE level. Because suppose you and me work strong, now you work effective. By this level of thinking, the dream and you can talk to them, and by come up. International communities like Australia have praised the autonomous Bougainville government for its achievements. And Australia will continue to support delivering services to the people of Bougainville and the government priorities. St. Francis of Assisi and uh, uh, probably the most famous quote of St. Francis is uh, when, he, uh, when he said, start by doing what is necessary, do what you must. Then you'll move on to doing what is possible and suddenly you'll find that you are doing the impossible. 
And I think that saying is very appropriate for the people of Bougainville, uh, the people of Papua New Guinea and the autonomous Bougainville government at this time. Uh, 11 years of having the autonomous Bougainville government. Uh, we also acknowledge the good work that's being done by the government of the autonomous region. This is a very difficult job uh, within uh, Bougainville, uh, delivering services and the reach of government to the remote and rural parts uh, of the autonomous region. Uh, they have shown the ability to be able to make such, uh, uh, have such great achievements, uh, acknowledging the work that's still there to be done. Uh, but certainly uh, from the Australian government side, uh, we, are, uh, we commend the autonomous Bougainville government and again, we are very pleased to be able to support them. Bougainville sailing into uncharted waters will have to work hard to ensure that the target date of June 15, 2019 is achieved at the highest peak. You're watching Talk Pixar. James Tannis, the autonomous Bougainville government's acting secretary for the Department of Referendum, announced the target date to members of Port Moresby's Bougainville community during a recent visit. The ABG Department of Referendum has highlighted key activity areas to focus on in preparation for this crucial vote. Mayor Batulo has this report. <music> It has been a long journey for Bougainville. Since being granted autonomy with the establishment of the Bougainville House of Representatives, the autonomous region of Bougainville has been left to manage its own affairs, with a gradual drawdown of national functions to the ABG. But one key issue has yet to be addressed, referendum. To fulfill this, a target date has now been set for the people of Bougainville to determine their political future. June 15, 2019 has been agreed to as the date by which Bougainvillians vote on whether to become independent. The man tasked to ensure the referendum exercise takes place and is successful is former ABG President James Tannis. Now Acting Secretary for ABG Referendum Department, Mr. Tannis made known this target date during a meeting with members of Port Moresby's Bougainville community. His main purpose? provide Bougainvillians outside of Bougainville an opportunity to hear firsthand the steps being taken to ensure that this referendum exercise is successful. 
Whilst admitting that the road leading up to the referendum exercise itself will be difficult, Tanis says they will be focusing on three pillars. Unity on Bougainville, a stronger collaboration between all parties within Bougainville, peaceful relationship between the ABG and national government, and relations between the ABG and international community. So our objective is to make sure we maintain good relationships with uh, Port Mosby. And we have proven that in securing a target date for the referendum and getting the national government agree with the activities we have outlined. And so it is the recent success on the JSB was based on relationships. And the third, third trident of the strategy is international relations. Referendum is an international issue. Exercise to right to self-determination is an international issue. And we need to continue to link to the international community so that the international community will support both the government of Papua New Guinea and ABG. So we have started changing a few things. Even when it comes to capacity building from the Bougainville government, uh, uh, the referendum department, we would welcome assistance to the national government. The success of the referendum, according to Mr. Tanis, will be dependent on peace on Bougainville and Bougainville's ability to be economically self-reliant. The ABG referendum department will be focusing on key activity areas. Among them, electoral program, weapons disposal, good governance assessment, awareness, ongoing consultation, including veterans, women and people with special needs, eligibility, referendum questions, legislation, and economic self-reliance. On the issue of referendum questions, Mr. Tanis has made it clear that the questions have to be concise and understood by all eligible voters right throughout the autonomous region of Bougainville, as well as for Bougainville's living outside of Bougainville. The policy that we have put in place is to make sure we have an all-inclusive approach. All-inclusive inclu approach to the, to the referendum. And that is why the two governments have agreed to have the referendum questions as one of, the, one of, one of a, an activity on its own. Economic self-reliance is another aspect that Bougainville's representatives in the national parliament have also identified as crucial in ensuring the autonomous region's long-term future. Bougainville Affairs Minister and Regional Member Joe Lera says one way this can be achieved is through the bottom-up development approach primarily focusing on the cooperative system. And by this is growing the grassroots PPP company, export company, and by buying more commodities. Uh, PPP company and public-private partnership and concept me using. And all cooperatives by owning 70% share of this export company. Now, ABC by Kisim 20%. Now, management group by Orisakisim 10 or 15 percent. Immediate need, in my view, is to start organizing yourselves economically. Start organizing yourselves economically. Emosemwara, this is where the cash flow is in the whole country. This is the center of the heart and soul of it, of Mr. Nerawi Tok Tok. The best that you can do for Bougainville at the moment is use your, uh, organize yourselves and position yourselves for investment in Bougainville. These sentiments echoed by Port Mosby Bougainville Association President Paul Narrow. And if there's an opportunity to connect with Bougainville and Bougainvilleans, let it be. Because Bougainville is home. We got to build Bougainville. And to me, this is a starting point. So that's not while we're here. We work, we earn our fortnight, whatever. I think we can then do even more. So the, the challenge for us the encouragement tonight for me is to say, guys, let's get together. Together we can, you and I. Individually it's so hard. We might do a little bit here and there, but together I think we can real, make some real achievements. It will be a difficult road ahead, given the limited time available. But together, there is a consensus that the referendum exercise can be successful if all parties work together.
Welcome back to Talk Pixa. From the autonomous region of Bougainville, we sail to Milan Bay Province. For many years, Alatau has been regarded as one of Papua New Guinea's top tourism destinations. And this looks set to continue, with Alatau being identified as pilot destination for the PNG Tourism Hub Initiative. Tourism, Arts and Culture Minister Tobias Kulang recently visited Milan Bay to see firsthand some of the services provided by hospitality providers. Milan Bay Province has for many years been one of the provinces at the forefront in attracting tourists, both locally and from abroad. In recent years, its provincial capital, Alatau, has seen a gradual increase in visitor numbers, allowing for many new businesses to venture into the hospitality industry. Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Tobias Kulang, was in the province over the weekend to experience firsthand the services offered by the hospitality industry in Alatau. Whilst in the province, Mr. Kulang had the opportunity to meet with members of the business community as well as the Provincial Tourism Bureau. His main purpose, explaining the decision to select Alatau as a tourism hub as well as the financial benefits Alatau may receive through support of this initiative, funding from the World Bank to the tune of 60 million kina. Under these uh, arrangements, we are looking at uh, uh, ensuring that uh, we put in the uh, we put in we do all of the right uh, uh, infrastructure and uh, and uh, and the right administrative structure so we are able to sell those destinations the products within it uh, and use those two destinations as a market in front to sell the rest of the country and slowly uh, bring on other provinces uh, online the support from the world bank comes at a time when cash flow within tourism is at lower levels than previous years However, according to World Bank Development Specialist Hannah Meseli, the opportunities available to Alatau as a pilot destination in the Tourism Hub Initiative can only be realized if stringent conditions are met, among them the development of a provincial tourism master plan. Uh, we have been here a number of times before with these discussions and it's great that these are now moving forward with stakeholders really identifying what kinds of investments and interventions can be made to move the tourism sector forward. Tourism is many different activities that come together and the communication and the coordination is very important along with the infrastructure. And the World Bank looks forward to being able to support the government and the private sector to really create Alatau as well as Kokopo as two world-class uh, exceptional destinations. For Alatau in the Milan Bay province, cruise ships such as this one, the Pacific Jewel, provide much needed revenue for local tour operators when they do arrive in Alatau. But Alatau wants to capitalize more on this. They want the tourists on these ships to spend more time and ultimately spend more money to boost the local tourism industry here in Alatau, Milan Bay province. Well, I'm glad, particularly when the government have trust over Milan Bay. And uh, I think there are about 20 provinces in the country and have selected Milan Bay. I think we're beautiful people in the lifestyle of Milan Bay, so yeah. warming, welcoming. Not only that, but we have thousands of the land that is out in the isolated islands, and the world have not seen the beauty part of it. Uh, our governor is, uh, is very passionate about uh, uh, tourism development here um, because it, it involves people. It's a people-to-people -people industry. And, uh, and hence the planning and the thinking at this level would have to think people. From initial interactions with the Milan Bay Tourism and Hospitality Providers, Minister Kulang is confident that the province can successfully meet the conditions set by the World Bank to draw down funding to support this initiative. This weekend we have engaged the provincial government to the Tourism Bureau, we have engaged the private sector to the Chamber of Commerce and the uh, industry association to ensure that they come on board and help with the master plan development and also the identification of the key infrastructure so whatever the world bank needs is, is finished to them so we will move uh, uh, quicker towards drawing down of that uh, that uh, facility and that's talk fixer for this week until we do this again from the talk fixer team pleasant viewing i'm neville Choi. good night